Good morning and welcome to your Monday early afternoon digital news update. I'm Kayla Schmidt over in the digital studio. We got a lot to get through today, so let's get started with some top news this morning. A controversial Confederate monument located outside the Pitt County Courthouse is partially removed. Let me bring up some video here. This was this morning's removal process of the Confederate soldiers monument. The statue is now gone, but the concrete remains still up. County commissioners voted last week to remove it in a 7-2 to two vote, saying it's a public safety risk, along with the fact that the county owns the statue. The monument was on the corner of West 3rd and South Evan Street and was presented to the public in 1914. County leaders estimate it will cost around $100 thousand dollars to remove the statue. Moving on, the corona coronavirus pandemic has claimed nearly 120,000 lives nationwide since February. There are growing fears that a second wave is underway, but health experts say that a first wave hasn't even hit yet. This comes at a time that the city of Kinston is now requiring face masks or face coverings to be worn in public. Mayor Don Hardy released an emergency proclamation yesterday. It goes into effect tomorrow evening at 5. A requirement to wear face masks is already in effect in Dare County. This order includes for all areas of the county. Expe exceptions to this rule include dining inside of restaurants or having certain medical conditions or religious beliefs. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with some more digital updates. CT9 has one mission, to be on your side. Right now, we want to ensure that you have the facts about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and how it affects all of us here in the East. We'll have the latest information in our newscast on WNCT.com and on our mobile app under the coronavirus section. WNCT9 is on your side with facts, not fear. We'll get through this together. WNCT9 is on your side with the facts about the Thanks for staying with me. Turning to news in Carteret County, a small business center at the Community College campus is getting about $50,000. Now, the money will be used for local business counseling in response to COVID-19. Small businesses in Carteret County can contact the Small Business Center to schedule a free appointment during this call. The counselor will ask about what issues the startup is trying to navigate, and then the business will be paired with a local expert to receive one-on-one -on -one counseling in the areas they need help. Now I'm going to send it over to our first alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm your First Alert Meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, reporting from the First Alert Weather Center on this hot and humid start to the work week across eastern North Carolina. The heat and humidity will continue into the afternoon under some partly sunny skies. However, an approaching trough of low pressure will provide the opportunity for some scattered thunderstorms by day's end and right around the evening commute. But you'll notice as we move into the overnight period and the sun sets, we lose a lot of energy in the atmosphere, and that means a quieter overnight into early Tuesday morning. We'll start the day on Tuesday under some mostly sunny skies, but as we go into the afternoon, it'll be a near rinse and repeat forecast of today with more sunshine on the way to start, hot temperatures and humid conditions in between, eventually leading to more showers and storms by day's end. Tomorrow will also be a hotter day, temperatures soaring into the lower and middle 90s. Even as we take you down to the coast over the next several days, a pretty warm and humid looking forecast. Wednesday and Thursday will remain unsettled as a new cold front emerges into eastern North Carolina. Scattered showers and storms will be likely both days, and that cold front well, in the wake of it, it'll take temperatures down a notch by Thursday afternoon into the middle and upper 80s, down just a couple of notches and a bit more comfortable to round out the work week on Friday with some drier weather on the way and more sunshine too, heading straight into the weekend. Make it a great rest of your Monday. Stay cool, stay hydrated, and dip into AC when you can. I'm your First Alert Meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. Happy Thank you, Alex. Now, Friday, Governor Cooper rejected a bill allowing gyms and bars to open. Nine on your side's Amber Joseph is speaking with a local fitness business that has reopened despite current restrictions. She'll look at how it's operating and keeping customers safe. Stay with N WNCT for more of that coverage live at 5 and 6, as well as stay online for Governor Cooper's upcoming conference streamed live here at 2 p.m. For now, I'm Kayla Schmidt in the digital studio.